the Lord concerning the camp of Zion, and this, the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Let all the youth of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and those who journey with them be organized into companies with a covenant and a promise to keep all the commandments and statutes of the Lord our God. Let the companies be organized with captains of hundreds and of fifties. This shall be your covenant, that you will walk in all the ordinances of the Lord. Let each company provide themselves with all the teams, wagons, provisions, clothing, and other necessaries for the journey as you can. And if you do this with a pure heart, in all faithfulness, you shall be blessed, and you shall be blessed in your flocks and in your herds, in your fields, in your houses, in your families, even in the blisters on your feet and on your hands. And I want to say one word. That word is faith. When you stand today on that long and dusty trail and take one step forward, then another, then another, and you push and pull that cart over rocks and ruts, what pushes you, what compels you? I say unto you, it is faith. You might say, Brother Brigham, it's, it's not faith. It's my self-will. It's my determination. And I say, who gave you that will? Who gave you that determination? Was it not God? And then I say to you, what compels you to do these things? Is it not the thought of a reward, a divine reward? Brothers and sisters, youth of Zion, you will be rewarded in this trip. You will feel the sweet assurance of doing God's will, of following His will by being on this trip. You will also be in the presence of His Spirit and the, His Son's Spirit and the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. Oh, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost will attend you every step of the way. are catching your tears and even without any words he hears you feel so far but he's right where you are and he knows ever Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm Captain James Allen of the United States Army. I take orders directly from General James Kearney, who answers to President Polk himself. I was sent here to inform you that a few weeks ago, the United States entered into a war with Mexico. President Polk is requesting 100 volunteers from each of five of your companies, a total of 500 able-bodied young men who are willing to march to Mexico 
enlist as a regular soldier in the United States Army and help us in our campaign against Mexico. Captain, how long do we have to make our decisions? A few hours. Will you meet us along the trail? Yeah, going up would be a chore. Oh, this one would be fun. <laughs> When I went down it the first time, I slipped <laughs> with nothing. I see the hands of those men who have volunteered to serve. That's very impressive, gentlemen. In light of what you have gone through, in light of your relationship that you have thus far with the government of the United States, I'm, I'm, I'm touched and I'm impressed. We'd like to ask those men then who have volunteered to come forward, to step forward, and to form two single columns heading in this direction, if you would. Okay, Red Company, we're in the Red Company!
just as fun. You'll have the reward of a rip-roaring, horn-stomping good time. No, towards, you don't have to go up. You just go right there. He's trying to get his eyes over the thing. Get soap on the lens. <laughs> Pioneers to 